OpenAI just announced ChatGPT plugins, a way for ChatGPT to interact with the real world. This is the fourth release OpenAI has had this month alone, and it is huge. Plugins give ChatGPT access to new information that ChatGPT didn't have before, like real-time or recent news. OpenAI themselves are hosting two main plugins that completely supercharge ChatGPT's capabilities. The web browser plugin allows ChatGPT to finally read from the internet. An insane demo shows a question being asked with ChatGPT, not only showing the answers, but also the steps and sources taken to get there. Anyways, this is a huge step in the right direction towards the hallucination problem that LLMs currently have. For code, ChatGPT was already great at writing and debugging code. However, with OpenAI's new code interpreter plugin, ChatGPT can actually do one extra step, actually running that code. Right now, the plugin is limited to Python, which honestly for many use cases is more than good enough. The code interpreter demo shows various use cases. One of them shows the CSV file being uploaded and understood. ChatGPT is able to perform data analysis and create visual visualizations from the file, without a line of code even being written. Another one shows an image being uploaded and described. Then, ChatGPT is able to make modifications to the image's size, which the user can then download, without a line of code even being explicitly written. But I can't wait for it to be able to create a web app, run it, and deploy it. And finally, put me out of a job. OpenAI also released the Retrieval plugin, which is open source and allows ChatGPT to easily obtain document snippets from a knowledge base, including your own. Lastly, I wanted to show this crazy demo by GDB, the co-founder of OpenAI. In this clip, ChatGPT is asked to take the first five seconds of a video clip and extract it. And it does it. No video editing software or FFmpeg wizardry required. This isn't all. OpenAI has basically created a plugin app store where it can already connect with tools like OpenTable or Wolfram. This example here shows ChatGPT using multiple plugins in one prompt. It uses the OpenTable plugin to find a vegan restaurant in SF, just normal ChatGPT to generate a simple recipe, the Wolfram Alpha plugin to calculate the calories for the recipe, and finally the Instacart plugin to order the ingredients for this recipe. To create a new plugin, all someone has to do is upload some generated OpenAPI files and then literally just tell ChatGPT what their API is used for. That's it. ChatGPT figures out the rest, like magic. If magic also replaced backend engineers. It feels like OpenAI is shipping something every week that Thanos snaps a bunch of jobs and companies out of existence. But my hope is that instead of automating away humans completely, it augments them to move faster and work better. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next video when GPT-5 is released, which at this rate will probably be tomorrow.